Well, you know what I heard. <laughs> I think God and Moses both just have enormous respect for each other. Come live with me. Look, the judges are wrong. Even the Egyptian judge is impressed. Until recently, you claimed that the Earth revolved around the sun. Welcome to History Bites. I'm Rick Green. People love scandals in high places because celebrity gossip makes us feel better about our own lives. Thus, the popularity of celebrity gossip shows. But there were scandals long before hard copy. For example, in Renaissance Europe, the Pope was the ultimate power and the ultimate celebrity. The papacy was a shining beacon of progress, enlightenment, and civilization. When it wasn't mired in scandals that would make Bill Clinton choke on his cigar. Perhaps the worst of the so-called bad popes was Rodrigo Borgia, or Pope Alexander. What Michelangelo was to art, the Borgia family were to corruption and debauchery. Pope Alexander had scandals from his candles to his sandals. This dysfunctional family dragged the reputation of the church down to the depths. If only television had been there to cover it, they could have put the ratings through the roof. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, sure. Of course I can get your forgiveness. I, I'm, I, I'm the Pope, eh? Okay, well, what did you do wrong, well, Your Majesty? Oh, oh, yeah, okay, murder. Uh, oh, you, you did what? Oh, f oh, that, that is f bad. What, what, what kind of animal was it? Oh, gee, I mean, what, what's wrong? What, you know, you know, are you short of women over there or what, yeah? All right, look, look, you might see, I'll make you a deal. It'll be, what, 2,000 florins, and you're off the hook, all right? You're forgiven by the church and by God. No, no Hail Marys, just send the payola, babe. All right, all right. Okay, man, see, you have, you have hang on a minute. Would you guys shut the f*** up? That's like I'm trying to make a f***ing living here, eh? Crazy for riches and hoes When you're Pope Alex, anything goes Ladies, it's not too late To come to his orgy and participate And participate Cesare! What? It's, it's time for church, man. Dad, what? I'm 18. I want to do my own thing, all right? I don't want to go to church. Oh, but you listen, man. You, you have to go to church, you know? Why? Because you're a f***ing cardinal, man. Dad, this is so f***ing unfair. I've scheduled, like, two dates and a hunting party. <laughs> Huh. My daughter oh. Lucretia, she, she, she's a bit of a wobbler. I mean, every day of her life, she's had what we call a wobble. <laughs> just, just, just like a old man. There's this guy I like, but he wants to marry me. Oh, oh Lucretia, darling, don't, don't be daft, girl. You know, you're marrying that Giovanna Swatzer of the Swatzer family from, from Milan. No way! Uh, you know, he, he's the one with the bald spot, you know? No! Or maybe he's got a lazy eye, I don't, no. I don't remember. What? what? I'm not married! Well, you know, I made the arrangements last week. Didn't oh. I, I, didn't I tell you? No, look, Dad, I am not marrying someone I have not even met. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an arrangement. It happens all the time. It's, it's, it's a work thing. Oh. It's... Anyway, since Rodrigo Borgia bribed his way into the papacy, he has really changed the Vatican. Oh, yeah, yeah, big changes. Uh, creating lots of new positions. And, uh, oh, no, oh, oh, no. Jobs, I meant jobs, for God's sake. <laughs> okay, so now here from our home office in Sardinia, here are the top 10 new jobs created by Pope Alexander. The top 10 new jobs created by Pope Alexander. Here we go. And number 10, indulgent sales associate. Number nine, mistress wrangler. <laughs> number eight, food taster to make sure there's no poison in Pope's dinner. Number seven, food taster to make sure there is poison in guest's dinner. <laughs> number six, Lucretia's husband. Uh, note, this is a temp job. 
Yeah, no, no kidding. I think uh, that, that'd be a day job, eh, hey, Paul? Double income. <laughs> no bastard. Oh, no. There's Kayoka. Kayoka. Mikachu. Phew, phew. What is it? There's trouble in Rome, Kayoka. It's the Pope and his family again. I summon the power of the angry, honest Christian! The Pope wanted to celebrate his jubilee with a public performance by 50 couples. That's right. He and Cesare and Lucretia were going to judge this dance contest. He said the men would be palace servants, but the women had to be harlots. And I'm confused as harlots are not the best dancers. Well, I hate to say it, but it's no dance contest. <laughs> And it's coming down the wire, they're at the post, and oh, couple number 17 score good points for style and technical merit. Oh my, I must put a stop to this. Yes, eventually. <laughs> yes, eventually. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> and the number one new job created by Pope Alexander, wedding planner. No, no, divorce lawyer. No, wedding planner. No, divorce lawyer. In medieval times, some popes were married, but by the time Alexander bought the papacy, that sort of thing just wasn't done. So he had to content himself with mistresses, and his number one gal was Venosa de Catani. Being the pope, he married Venosa twice to two other men, but that didn't stop Venosa from bearing Alexander two of his most famous bastards, Cesare and Lucretia Borgia. The kids gave Pope Alexander two ways to deal with rival clans. The boy could battle him, or the girl could marry him. We met at one of his orgies years ago and really hit it off. Six times in two hours. Alexander isn't allowed to marry, so I guess you could say I'm his first lady. Well, the hundred first lady, actually. But his most important kids are mine. Look, I, look. You just can't party all the time, babe. I mean, you know, do you want to end up like me? I mean, look, I, I, I've poisoned people, I've drunk too much, I, I slept with loads of women. I mean, just, 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 just look at me. Dad, you're the Pope, the most powerful guy in the world. Oh, oh yeah, it's true. All right, all right, bad example, but... Uh... Ow! No, shut up! Calm down, shut it's not... Shut a... up! I don't know, man, I see one at times, but there's a lot of f***ing love in this palace. Uh, you know, I'm, and I'm, 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 I'm not just talking about the orgies, you know. I, I, I'm, in, I'm in the real deal, man. I mean, sure, we squabble from time to time, but... You're not even the Pope's son, Cesare. You're a bastard in both senses of the word. I am not a bastard. I got a papal dispensation. Oh, oh f stop. You f***ing crazy, Cesare. You possessed by demons. At least I'm not a woman. Oh, I don't carry the f*** you. At least I don't carry the tempting seed of evil in me. You know, I mean, squabbling's what families do. Oh, I mean, I'm sure, we, we got gold and luxuries, but you know, when you, when you get right down to it, this, this isn't a papal palace, it's, it's a people palace, babe, you know, and, and you know, people squabble. They yes. go behind the scenes at the Vatican and show you Pope Alexander's family. It's wild. Wild? <laughs> it's wild, all right. Talk about sinking to a new low. You really don't like reality television, do you? Look, reality television, I'm fine with. It's Pope Alexander I don't like. Don't like him. Well, Reach, this show is, like, so huge. A total hit. You get to see the papacy of Pope Alexander. Okay, let me just make a little prediction right here on the air, all right? I say it won't last. In fact, I predict it'll get canceled by 1503. <laughs> gonna cancel their top show. Show nothing. I'm talking about his papacy. His kid Cesare, I mean, he's got that hungry look and he's got the big sword too, you know? My uncle there, Pope Calixtus, we, we always used to squabble, but, yeah, but that didn't stop him from making me a cardinal. Yeah, it's, it's like a family business, man. Poping. You, you just can't go on like this, Cesare. I mean, you know, uh, hunting animals is one thing, but, you know, f***ing killing people's another. You just can't shoot people in the middle of St. Peter's f***ing square, eh? Dad, they were just prisoners. 
They were condemned to death anyway. Oh, oh, oh all right, but you know, it's not just that. It's, it's the womanizing too, all right? You know, like if you sleep with their daughters and their wives, the nobles are gonna come and they're gonna kill you, man. I know what I'm doing. I'm not a idiot. Oh, you wanna end up like your brother, eh? Is that what you want? Cesare had an older brother, Giovanni, and he was the prince of the family. Oh no, it's like we never stopped hearing about him. And well, one night he just didn't come home. He had been stabbed all over and we had to drag his body out of the river Tiber. Mum, you know what the kids at school are saying? They're like, check it out, check the, out the Pope. Now he's really a fisher of men. Lucretia, that isn't bad for taste. Well, look, I just don't want to lose another son, all right? So you know the rules about women. Yeah, yeah, I know, Dad. Safe sex. That's right. Sleep with prostitutes for sakes, man. No. That's, that's what God put them there for, isn't it? Dad, yeah. Coming up, Lucretia is in the family way, and that gets in the way of the family. And participate. Renaissance Italy was a complex network of city-states run by rival families. Relations between these powerful clans were cemented through weddings. Each arranged marriage was like a business merger, and family ties could make or break you. For a crooked Borgia Pope, family ties were meant to be broken. Look, is a woman, eh? Or, or at least she will be, and getting married for political alliances is, is what women are for, right? Come on, Lucretia, who's my little bride? Call off the wedding! Why? Because I don't love him! Well, how could you? You haven't even met him. Oh, Come no, on. no, Lu Lu Lucretia, you don't understand the ways of the world, babe. I mean, you know, it's not about love, is it? No, no, it's about firming up our connections with the Milanese. That's oh. right. Besides, you're only 13. You've got your whole life to find something to love about this fellow. Yeah, and you know, uh, uh, pe people don't live forever these days. You know, if you uh, if, uh, catch my drift. Come on. <laughs> Are you in trouble with the church? Are you about to undergo trial by fire, water, or worse, boiling water? We understand the system. We know how justice works. As former friars, we know that a small amount of gold placed in the right hands could tip the scales of justice in your favor. The difference between your guilt or innocence may be just a few degrees. And by making a donation on your behalf, we'll make sure that everything's cool. I was forced to put my hand in boiling water, but three days later, the priest said he didn't see any telltale blisters. Thanks, Guillaume and Roland. But finally, Lucretia agreed to the wedding. She was actually a really good sport about it. Dad. Oh. I forgive you. Oh, yeah? For, for what? Giovanni. I can get used to his bald spot oh. and his lazy eye. Oh, 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 yeah, him. Yeah, I was meaning to tell you about him. I, I, I'm getting you a divorce. What? I, I just think we can do better, that's all. We? Oh, Giovanni's worthless to us now. We don't need him. I cannot all you have believe to do, this! All you have to do is testify that, that, that he's impotent. What? Yeah, and I'll annul the whole thing. I am just... Oh, this is... Oh, yeah, and you know, you'll have to go for a virginity test. Oh, that's it. That's no, it. no, no, no. A virginity test isn't that bad, dear. <laughs> I've passed several. <laughs> I just don't want a bunch of grody old men touching me. <laughs> I know, dear. Just... Just pretend it's one of your dad's parties. <laughs> I know, I know, you're wondering why didn't anyone step in and get rid of this corrupt family? Well, first, the Borgias weren't much more corrupt than the other powerful families who ran Italy. Second, the Borgias were more powerful and well-armed than the other families. Still, there were many devout Christians in the Vatican who were appalled, and Pope Alexander had people to deal with any objections. They included his army, his bodyguards, his spies, and his poison tasters. Mom, I'm just going to cut some guy's tongue out. What? Why? Because he looked at me the wrong way. Oh, all right, all right. You, you remember the rules, though, eh? Yeah. I do have sex. I know. I do drink. Yeah. And if you're going to kill someone, for God's sake, Cesare, use poison.
Nowadays, with so many family rivalries and nobles squabbling for power, it's wise to remember that good things take time. That's why I prefer to use slow-acting poisons. Poisons that weaken, debilitate, and eventually kill my victims over months, even years. Slow poisons take longer and cost a little more, but they're much less suspicious. And, as my Sicilian friends say, revenge is a dish best served cold and garnished with poison. <coughs> I've been wearing these rubies to ward off disease, but I'm still sick. Then stop wearing gems and start eating them. Don't believe the old wives' tales. Wearing gems is not a cure. Doctors and apothecaries agree that gemstones can only cure you if you eat them. That's why we put only the finest crushed gems into Sandy Gem. Brown sapphires, red rubies, green emeralds, and new blue diamonds. Sandy Gem, it really works. But maybe I should talk to an apothecary about this. You just did. Dad. Oh, what is it, Lucretia? Dad, I can't go for that virginity test. Oh, oh really? Oh. Dad, I'm in the family way! Oh, no, no, Chris, you're not in this family's way. It's quite the opposite, love. You know, you've, you've been a huge help marrying all these blokes, you know. No, it's some other f***ing noble families, you know. The, the Medici's, the Orsini's, the Della Rovers, they're the ones in this family's way. Dad, basically. I'm f***ing pregnant, for f***ing sake! What, f***ing pregnant? Yeah! Oh, well, who, who was it? Giovanni Sforza? No. Oh. It was Pedro, the messenger boy. Oh, Pedro! Oh, oh, thank God. As long as it's not that Sforza fellow, I don't want any legitimate heirs coming from that little f Thank you very much. Uh, but you still have to go for that virginity test. What? But no, look, I'm Alexander the Sixth, the Pope of f darkness. All right. I'm the little f who brought law and order to Rome. I've got money. I've got armies. I'm the f messenger of God, babe. All right. So if I say you're a virgin, you'll be a f virgin. Stay tuned for more hilarious hijinks as the Borgias prove absolute power corrupts absolutely. Crazy for riches and hope. So how did someone as corrupt as Rodrigo Borgia become Pope? Well, like his uncle who had seized papal power by bribery and brute force, Rodrigo was ambitious, scheming, and didn't mind greasing the wheels with bribes. He bought the papal election and then made sure that his kids were given prime positions in the church. Oh, coochie, 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 coo. Oh, isn't it sweet, this little thing? Now, Lucretia, I, I, I don't want you to worry about the paternity of this little bundle of joy because I've probably declared that he's the, he's the son of Cesare and, I don't know, so, some unknown woman. What? Now, now, Lucretia, don't get all wobbly on me. Now, don't get all f***ing wobbly. But, Dad, don't, everyone uh, knows that I am the f***ing mother. No, no, you don't and understand if they think that Cesare is the f***ing father, uh, they're going to think that I f***ing my own Oh, no, no, look, 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 Chris, you've, oh. got, you've got to stop worrying about what other people say. I mean, you know, just, 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 just look at what they say about me, all right? That I, that I, that I bribe my way in, in, into the papacy, and that, I, and that I'm, I'm, I'm a sex maniac, and that I've, I've got a house full of mistresses and, and uh, bastard children. Dad, that is all f***ing true. I know, that, that's why I ignore it, eh? Otherwise, you'd drive you f***ing mad. Oh, oh now, now you woke the baby. I will not let you say this baby is Cesare's, so f you! Do not swear at your dad. He is your holy father, for f sake! How uh, 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 about this? We can just annul the baby. You what? You can't annul a baby, Alex. You annul a marriage. Oh, oh, oh right, right, right. Actually, I could annul a baby. No, get it here! Oh! <laughs> You're shaking it too hard. Not. It's my okay, baby. Okay, 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 You're okay. Shut the f it up, it's okay? Here, here it is. It's over. Problem solved. Here it is. Sign and witness. I declare that this child is a child of myself and an unknown woman. That ought to stop the gossip. Oh, hey? that's good a good one. one yeah, Alex, I thought so too. Go. That's it's good. wonderful. Yeah. yeah, but if my dad's the father and I'm the mother, then that means my dad and me. Oh, f <laughs> Dad! Ch 
guys are right. Where's my f***ing wife? Okay, my dad is like forgiven for the whole baby thing because he actually found me a husband again. And um, this one's actually kind of nice. His name is Alfonso. He's the son of the King of Naples and he's rich and good looking. Lucretia! Lucretia, darling! What's up, Dad? Uh. Yeah, you know, this uh, Alfonso fellow, you know, um... What's I, it, wrong? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. It's just that, you know, he, he, he's from Naples, and uh, right now Naples is mad at France. You know, I'm trying to get some deals done with France, you know, like treaties. So, it's... What you know, are you trying to say, Dad? Uh, well, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to understand, you know? Uh, like, I really like Alfonso. I, I, I really do. He, yeah, I think the world of him and all that. But it's just that, you know, right now he's a serious... <laughs> Political li liability. Uh, I you know? knew this was too good to be true. Oh, uh, Lucretia, you just don't understand the ways of the world, babe. That's right. Know? Who do you think pays for all this? Oh, please. <laughs> no, 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 we'll make sure he's well taken care of, you know? Yeah, because, you know, like, he's part of the family now, babe. Yeah, he's a Borgia, babe, right? Ah, so he'll be treated just like any other member of the family. You mark my words. Oh, Dad. I love you. Oh, I love you too, wobbler. Alexander eventually found a third hubby for Lucretia, but the blasphemous Borgia's behavior couldn't continue forever. After 11 years as Pope, Alexander died in what some suggest was a botched attempt to poison a rival. Always write your name on your cup at a party. The family's power quickly died with him, but the damage was done when an outraged cleric named Martin Luther nailed up his 95 theses condemning papal corruption, many Catholics said, yeah. It was the birth of Protestantism. The popes who followed had to work hard to reform the church so history wouldn't repeat itself because history bites. So I got the job and I'm thinking, great. I get to work in the Vatican kitchen and I get to taste all the Pope's food. People are dying for a job like this. So anyway, I'm tasting food all day, and the chef brings by a leg of pheasant for me to taste. But I'm full! So I take the food, give it to the Pope, yada, 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 and he dies. Turns out the food taster is supposed to be tasting for poison. I could have died, Jerry! Died! Now they've got a stiff pot of an ice-cold popsicle. <laughs> 